it's Kevin DeWitt here. Welcome back to the Past is Prime YouTube channel and welcome back to Surviving the Aftermath. So, the time of this recording, the official version 1 release has been released. It is out. This is the actual release now. We are phew, we're on the real stuff now. Now, I am going to attempt to continue on with my previous save that was started on early release it's obviously a fair way in um we've probably missed well i guess we miss out on a little bit of the dialogue the early game the introduction all that sort of stuff uh but i'm hoping that we can trigger the end game and some of the other things now i have also bought the oh, what is it called oh god ultimate pass or something like that there's a expansion expansion it's an expansion pack, right? So some people were complaining about the price of that. It was like, oh, for well, Australia, it was like 30-something, 30 30-something 30 bucks. Um, but I think it was not worded correctly. And when you do get it, they might have, hopefully they fixed it up on Steam. But it, what it does is it actually, not only does it give you some extra content right now, but it actually gives you access to the first three DLCs. So it's basically a season pass. So you'll get the three first the first three DLCs given to you in that price. So if you like the game, then it's probably going to be good value to get it. Uh, obviously, you know maybe the reward right now is not worth the price, but you know that's I mean that's what you get with these season passes. You know, all games seem to be doing it these days. Buy a season pass, you'll get all the DLCs coming. And you just have to rely on the company to actually deliver on that content in a timely fashion and, and the DLCs be worth it. But I'm hoping it will be. Um, so there's been a few, obviously, additions to this version. Uh, now that it's 1.0, as I said, they've... I can't even go into all the stuff they've added, but they've added an end game. And as I said, the expansion pass, it's added something as well. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what it's added, uh, but it's added a few things. Um, I think I get a couple of freebie things in here as well because I was uh, classed as a foundation because I had bought early release. There was some statues and stuff you get to keep and whatever else. Uh, so we might see some strange tutorial stuff come up as well because I think that's going to trigger and things like that. But, um, you know, depending on how this goes, eventually we will start a new I will start a new campaign. So, But if, if you would prefer me to do that right away, let me know. For now, I'm going to try to continue my current save. But if you don't want me to do that and you want me to start a brand new campaign from scratch, then uh, definitely let me know because if it's something that everybody wants, then I will entertain the idea. Otherwise, I will try to finish the end game and everything else with this current save and then, uh, then come back and do a new campaign after that. So that's probably enough talking about it. Let's get into it and start playing it. All right, so you can already see we've got the duck here that wants us to build a road. Uh, I think we could probably, yeah, just get rid of it. All right, so new trade deals are available. Okay, I'm not sure what we were up to here. Whoa. Right, so the thing is, is that I don't know how we trigger everything now what do we need do we need anything so do we have any trade deals well that would have been smart to have probably checked that wouldn't it I don't know if we've got any going alright so we're just going slow at the moment aren't we we're lacking some steel and plastics. Okay, what are we trying to build here? We're trying to build a mechanic shop. Did we get that built? We did. So we've got one carrier. Let me just see. Have we got any colon? Yeah, okay. Let's take you. One child. Fine, we'll take the child. Alright, we have four slots. Mm. 
now. There are survivors at the gate. So you can hear there. All right, so we've got some new voices there. So are these survivors going to stuff up my... A ragged bunch shuffled slowly towards the gate. Truth is out there somewhere. You should go into the wasteland and see it for yourself. Yeah, so they've added all this voiceover stuff, which is nice. Uh, one adult, three children, one elder. Ooh, we better start thinking about building another house, I think. Because we could be in a little bit of trouble. Now, how's our fertility? So we could build another one here. Problem is, it's going to cost us a goddamn fortune. Uh, da, 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 da. I can't see. Why can't I see? Why is it suddenly so dark? Alright, let's build the road. Hang on, that was a dirt road. I don't want a dirt road. Dirt roads for commoners. I want a, a good thing. Colonist Joel is homeless. Uh, I would like to solve your problem, Connell. Colonel, can't even speak. All right, let's put that to build next. So we've got enough wood. We're definitely on plastics and steel. Now we could trade. What'd be good would be get some reputation up with these ones that don't really like us. You got fiber. So you got steel. Let's have a look. Alright, let's... I want to trade some steel. Now, if I wanted to take... All your steel... Okay, what could I give you... Oh, okay. So this would give them... Hang on. Oh, so that's negative because they've got enough of that. They would love shotguns. Oh, I'm sure they would love shotguns, but I'm not really keen on selling people that don't trust me shotguns. It's a bit of a worry. So we could sell you some... You don't really want rare metals. Well, that's a bit of a shame. Well, we'll give you some of it. Junk? No. Ooh, yeah, we can give you a little bit of medicine. Do you want wheat? No, you don't want wood. Yeah, I'm not giving you shotguns. I don't have enough for a start. What about fun boxes? Oh, yeah. Hang on. So what do we... That's all I need to do. If I just want that. Now, what if I wanted the sturdy clothing? Oh, 15. Okay, let's just skip that for now. Well, it could pay with coin. Two eighty-two. You know what? I'll pay you with coin. Okay, let's do that. It's going to take three days. Didn't help our reputation whatsoever. Unfortunately, we just didn't pick anything that was worth that. Now the other one was plastics. I don't think any of you got plastics. You got fiber. Oh, 
think that was the one I already clicked on. Yeah, oh, that's a real shame. Nobody's got it. Parts. Concrete. Uh. Okay, why? You died of old age. Well, you solved my housing crisis. <laughs> I'm not short of houses anymore. <laughs> oh, that's sick. That is just sick. How can you be like that, man? Come on. Uh, now what's wrong with you? Okay, one thing I was contemplating was upping the targets on some of these, the production limits, because things are costing a lot more. So I'm sort of tempted to, um, like, get them up to, like, Maybe 200 now? Alright, let's just pause. I just want to check. See, even those. You can go up to 100. Get you up to 100. Okay, what else do we have? So, I get you to 200. <laughs> we got six pigs again. Let's put you two. Okay, we got two, sh six sheep. Let's put you two. Maybe I'll leave the guns at 100. I don't really know about the production limit for that because I just want to clean everything up. I don't really want to set a limit. Uh, that's waiting for parts. Is that what this one was for? Mechanic shop. That gives us parts. Uh, yeah, that's a bit of a problem. I do need that. What does it cost to make solar? Twenty-five metal and five of those. See, that would that would help, and it fits nicely in there. Because he doesn't need parts, right? So, oh, yeah, we're short of those. It's funny how we're short of everything now. All right, let's check out our specialist. What's going on? Mission here? complete. Okay, see, you now we've got some currency and we've got some medicine. You're a bit damaged, but... I'll return you. What's up? What are you doing? All right, you're What's going up? back. I think you're all going yes. back. All cleaned up. Ooh, okay. Right, so we can't do anything about that unless we get somebody else to help. So maybe you could come here and have a you look. You got it. Right, now, we could convert somebody to be a settler and go and get something else. Now, what would be good? Okay, that's got parts. Uh, 
How come that's not green? I'm trying to work out why, why certain things have lines around them and then others don't. Is that just where we have stuff? Yeah, the only reason settler, because we've got enough coin to buy another specialist, but we can't because we're full. And it seems a waste to not uh, not create something, but I want to have a look. We should get that research there as well. Medicine. So that would just be fun boxes. All right, we could get those parts and bring them back. That would help a lot. We've already got a scavenger there. I don't know, we haven't got research there, but do we need more research or do we need more scavenging? Well, there's a couple of research there. We could grab manual ones. There's clothes. Oh, that's just fun boxes. That's right. I was just thinking we could get parts from a thing, but we can't. We've already got a scavenger there. Yeah, this is the problem. I don't know what I would use a settler to do. Because I don't really feel we need more fun boxes. And I don't think we need more of those. We're already doing that one. Uh, we could get the guns. But then there's also research in here. Maybe the guns would be worthwhile. Okay. Yeah, let, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's get some guns. Alright, so if we're going to do that... Uh -huh. Who do we want to convert? I'm going to convert you. You don't seem... Nothing's jumping out at me as being that great. Okay, establish an outpost. Yeah, we know how to do that, buddy. I want you. you got right, it. Get in here. All right. Let's get this playing again. I, I don't know how we trigger anything to do with end game or anything else. Now, I just want to have a look in here to see if we have anything that may be different. Colony sent... Oh, that's what I really got. Damn it, shanty. Okay, so we have done two colonists are homeless. Oh, we must have got the colonists. Yeah, unfortunately the colonists have turned up. <laughs> yes, they have. And we are not ready. We don't have enough plastics. We don't have enough metal. I'm sorry. If I had known those ones were going to turn up at the gate, I would not have invited you. Well, I mean, I could dismantle this and that will put it all back. Will it? Did we get it all back? I can't remember. I hope we do. And then they could be all dragged around. Now, we'll have to remember to put it back. So, just so we remember, because I definitely want one. Let me just continue checking through here. See if there's anything we haven't built. We've got a gunsmith now. 
So we'll come back to that mechanic shop. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this Pathfinder statue is a foundation one, so that it's early access. Get to that. All right, so let's go back to putting the mechanic shop in here. Hang on, how's that? And I'm going to pause it. I don't want it built yet. I want to get this house done. Okay, let's speed up a bit. How can you be malnourished? I've got plenty of food cooking, haven't I? I've got meat-based nutrition. I've got no plant-based nutrition. What the hell? There's none of our crops grown yet. Probably because we just came out of winter. We'll have that problem solved soon enough. Don't you worry. So we've got tons of meat though. Churning out the meat. Definitely no one's going to go hungry. Oh, we were building a transformer as well. Okay, yeah, that was to provide the power for the mechanic. No, what the? Oh, God, help me. We've just been smashed. Okay, we're going to repair that. Oh, let's just have a look at our building health so I can see very clearly. So we're going to repair that, we're going to repair that. Okay, is that all that got hit? Why does that need to be repaired? And that. Okay, weird. Right, I think we're good. <laughs> Get those fixed up. Uh, we do need research. Right. We haven't got any research. Ah, okay. So they've changed this layout again. They've made it a lot bigger. I personally think it's a little bit too big because I can't see enough of the tree now. I, I, I liked it when I could see a lot more and I could sort of think in advance. So, protected crops. Greenhouses shield crops from the elements. They can... Ooh, that's bloody good. Uh, you've also got the alternate proteins. We've got enough meat at the moment. I don't know if we need more proteins, but the crop thing, that's... That's good. Uh, we've also got sewing machines, so that would give us more clothing or better clothing tool smithing we have a problem at the moment in actually getting enough resources to build things that's the only problem i have with unlocking that stuff okay that's better heaters better wells home improvements that that's only if we've got shanties i haven't built any shanties Okay, that's entertainment. Now, I thought our entertainment was pretty good right now, wasn't it? Oh, you can get cemeteries. Public housing. Just knowledge based. I mean, clearly I want to get all this stuff somewhere, but... Yeah, we don't have a problem with storage. Okay, we could upgrade our gunsmiths if we wanted to. Search protectors, cleansing. Disaster forecast. Oh, Jesus. 
Okay, I'm thinking we go with something like this. I'm thinking protected crops. I'm going to research that. I don't know what after that. We'll see. But right now, protected crops is what I'm thinking. All right, let's get this thing playing again. Construction finished. So we've got a transformer. Somebody died of old age again. Okay, still says we're down 10 power. I thought we... Yeah... I'm not sure about that. You should be getting repaired automatically. So why are we losing power? We don't have that build. So that would have provided eight. So we got the tenement built, right? Okay. Okay, we have seven slots available for housing now. All right, let's get this going. Okay, colonists. All right, what have we got? How may I help? My well, pleasure. You were supposed to be looking there, weren't you? Alright, everybody else is still doing stuff. Okay, so all our dying people is not helping us. We have one child. One at all. And that's all good. One's better than none. Okay. Are we getting any veggies here? Oh yeah, we're starting to get some veggies. Okay, we've got some corn. Hopefully some malnutrition. Bloody old age. Jesus, people die of old age every time here. Okay, we don't have much of a storage of water. Oh, we've got an adult, so you can help. Alright, so we're going to have to keep decontaminating you. Even though you'd be churning out fish. You guys are still working, aren't you? Oh yeah, you're doing that big pile there. Cool. That's good. Right. So, I'm just looking. How are we going for materials? Does anything can be upgraded or bought or enhanced here? You've hit the limit. How have you hit a limit? No, you haven't hit a limit. You've just got no workers. Okay. We've got some outpost people come. Yeah, we've still got plenty of jobs. Okay, we are losing water. I don't like that. these damaged again. Okay, so we've got water we coming. Okay, so we're claiming we've got power and water issues. Oh, hang on, we've got an alert here. What are these? It's ones? vital to stay vigilant 
and keep an eye on the wasteland to prepare for potential threats. While exploring, one of the scouts has spotted what seems to be an abandoned radio tower in the distance. Radio communications are a rarity around these parts and long distance communication is almost unheard of, so sending an expedition to see if anything could be salvaged is definitely worth it. Now I'm not sure, this is either part of the end game or it's part of the expansion DLC. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure this was added as one of those. So have colonists check it out. Outback Radio. The tower itself is in very rough condition and too large for transport. However, the radio unit is still somewhat functional and the colonists decide to bring it back with them. People feel excited by the opportunity of sending and receiving signals from other colonies or even beyond. Build a radio tower to start the Ultimate Colony Edition quest written in the stars. Okay, yes, it was the DLC. So the Ultimate Colony Edition expansion pack has this written in the stars. So there you go. So we are going to start that by building a radio tower. Whoa. So let's pause and have a look. What does that, what does that mean for us? Oh, hang on, let's fix a couple of things up here. We've run out of pollution. How can you run out of pollution? All right, where do we want to clean up now? Where's our most sort of closest and annoyingest? <laughs> annoyingest? Is that a word? Probably not. Maybe we should do these two because the water people will walk past this constantly. So let's do that. Okay, what else have we got? We've run out of workers again. Because all these old people are dying. I know they can't help it, but it's, it doesn't help my colony much. It's a bit annoying. Okay, you're almost full. Hmm. That's all the food. So should we build a warehouse? I, I, I've never been to the point of building a warehouse, but we probably should. Now, why do we have a... Oh, that's right. We pulled down the medical tent for this. Now, why has that got... Why has that got food on it? I have no idea why that's got food on it. That, that, that seems to be weird to me, but... Okay, so... And we never added research either. Jesus. Okay, a couple of things. Right, so here's our radio tower. So we want to build this to get our thing going here. Right. Oh, jeez, I didn't realize it was that big. Can we fit it in here? Because that would be really nice in there. Now, what's the red around it? I don't understand what the red uh, grill around it is indicating. That was not in the previous versions. Let's see. I mean, it could... F no, it can't fit there. No, it overlaps. Right, but it can fit here. Can it? Yes. Okay, that's nice. All right, so we got that. Now, what was in here? Oh, greenhouse. That's what's got added there. That requires power. Interesting. Now, do you, does it need to be on fertile ground as well? Because... I mean, you could put it over here, but is that very smart? I'm not 100% sure it is. Okay, let's have a look. What? I take it back. It's green, so why wouldn't you? Yeah, okay, well... Let's put one down. 
sort of placeholder here, eh? I think. Yeah. Now, we might pause it, though. Okay, how... Hmm... Okay, I still want to keep this going. I, I want to get this because we need these parts. Uh, but I also want this radio going as well. Oh my god, too many things to build, too many things to do. Right, we've got nine spots. We need people. We need people. Come on. Survivalists. We've got nothing here. We haven't had enough time. Yeah, I know we're lacking resources. Okay. So I don't know... I still don't know if we can trigger the end game. I'm hoping we will. I didn't know a specialist wants something. Mission complete. Okay. Right. We need you... Hmm. Another research thing. Oh, 25. That's a nice one. We really need somebody to grab some of these parts and stuff, but I think Roger. We'll get you going there. You know, that's at least getting some research. It's always handy. Right, let's ahead. look at everybody else. Okay. Check. Alright, you're back. Huh? My pleasure. Just force these Shoot. guys to move a bit more. Going. They would have moved on their own anyway, yes. but sometimes I like to just force Check. it. Oh, he didn't quite make it. All right. Going. My God, we have yes. got so many out there. Oh, you're ready. Oh, okay. So now we have two options, technically. We have the research. That's 25 for 12 hours. Or we've got the guns. I'm still thinking we do the guns. Yes. Okay, there's no other weird ones, is there? So if we scavenge, we get one gun. What's that? Is it every 12 hours? Okay. Outpost is now complete. Okay, so we get one gun every 12 hours. Now, it means we've lost that research. We can't do anything with it. Oh, I mean, unless we pull this down, if we find we don't need guns anymore, we could pull that down and build a research one. But I guess the thing is, eventually, eventually research is going to run out. Um, you know, you'll, you'll eventually at some point complete the tech tree if you play for long enough. Okay, now we have a spare slot to buy a set... A specialist, not a settler. Pause. All right, let's buy one. And what are we getting? Oh, we've got you back again. Uh, da, 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 da. Can't even recruit the specialist. Yeah, they've expanded this a lot. Have them wait by the gate. What's the point of that? What does that do? I don't understand. Why would you have them wait by the gate? Can you just buy them and leave them at the gate? For when you're ready. That seems a bit weird. All right, so you got 350 researcher, you're a good researcher, your recovery's not too bad, your speed's okay, your attack is pretty low, scavengers, meh. So you're more of a researcher, which makes sense, because you're a scientist. Let's recruit you. Okay, money well spent. Are you here? Yes, you are. 
thank you for attending. All we need is steel and parts. All we need is steel and parts. <laughs> Whatever, not parts, what are they? Components. Oh my god. I think we get components. Hang on, we've got plenty of components here. Why? We're just waiting for the carrier. I think it's just we're waiting for a carrier. We just need more people in here. We always need more people. I've got way too many jobs and not enough people. Now, we could also pull down more of these tents. We've got another one died of old age, for frick's sakes. Yeah, I'm going to destroy another tent. Now, what does that give us? That gives us some plastic and wood back. Not a big deal. Okay, now we've got four spots left. That was clearly a power surge. All right, so we've just seen our first, I think we've seen our first ever power surge. That's not good. All right, I think we're gonna have to call it there. I think we've done enough in this video. Um, unfortunately, because I'm loving the game, I wanna keep going. But uh, we'll call it there and we'll come back in the next video and continue on with our colony uh, again. Uh, we know the DLC gets triggered. Um, I'm really hoping the end game gets triggered because otherwise uh, we definitely will be starting a new campaign if that's the case. Um, but I don't want to lose what I've done here. I like what I've done here, sort of. I'm still learning, but it's good. And um, yeah, it'll be... It will be good to start a new game at some point, but um, I was really hoping to see this one through to the end. Or as close to it, but we'll see. We'll see if the end game's trigger end game end, the end game triggers. I'm not sure how to trigger it. I have no idea if there's something we need to do or not do. Uh, but this uh, this is not the greatest. That is not the greatest at all. But thankfully, they're fixing it quickly. I need that power fix, guys. Come on. Keep hammering away at it. That's all you need to do. Hit it with a hammer and she's all good. Alright, so if you like the channel and you want to support it further, check the description below. There's a link. You can buy me a virtual coffee. If you uh, like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing. I uh, really appreciate the support. It helps the channel out a lot. Helps it grow. Helps more people see my content. All that sort of stuff. And hopefully helps it be more fun with more people uh, being active in the comments and allow me to be more active in the comments, talking or chatting with you and answering questions and and uh, receiving advice from you and all that sort of stuff. But uh, uh, in line with that, uh, most importantly, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of the game. Are you playing it? Uh, have you just got it because it's been fully released, you know, because um, obviously I've been playing Early Access, but that's PC based. Um, you know, maybe you're playing it on a console and you've only just been able to get your hands on it and you've been looking forward to it. Let me know. Uh, I'm hoping that now that it's released, we're going to get some new people over here on the channel checking out the content and um, seeing what it's all about. And, uh, you know, if, if you are new to the game, please do check out the rest of my videos on this because obviously my colony here is always already uh, a little bit further down the track in the, um, in the game. So if you want to see the start, uh, go back and check out uh, 
like episode one of campaign two. So campaign one on my channel was uh, was early, early release. They made a lot of changes and uh, I had to start a new campaign, campaign two. We couldn't finish campaign one because the saves were not compatible anymore. Campaign two is still early release uh, up to this video, but it's very similar to the final product that you will have got if you've just got it uh, with, you know, a few differences, but um, pretty close to being the same. So yeah, definitely check out uh, starting with episode one of campaign two on my channel if you want to see how this colony has developed from the start. And uh, yeah, feel free to binge watch them all and catch up to the video that I'm at. And um, at this stage, uh, you know, we're doing about two videos a week, trying to keep them fairly short. So uh, you know, about 30 minutes or so, a little bit longer maybe. Um, I can't do them any shorter than that. It's just too much stuff to do to get it any shorter. But uh, let me know what you think and all that sort of stuff. Put it in the comments. I'm happy to chat with everybody. I'm happy to provide advice. I'm happy to receive advice if I'm doing something stupid and you think I could do something better in the game. Or if you want to see improvements on the channel or suggest other games, all that sort of stuff, put it in the comments. I read all the comments. And I answer every comment that warrants an answer as soon as I possibly can. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one.